All of this was in one pocket. <laughs> Coveralls are cool, huh? They're awesome. So last time we were supposed to get both fenders and the bumper off. And we only got one fender and the bumper off. So we're gonna quickly get the fender off and then go into getting everything else out of the engine bay. I did not spray these bolts, this one. Oh, uh, you had good now. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be full of pockets, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh no! What's the matter? We forgot a bolt! You forgot a bolt? Yeah! Which one did we forget? I don't know how we got forgot that one. Which one? Right here. Oh! I didn't realize we didn't here. Alright, one more time. Ready? Hey, look in here. It actually came off. Hold on one second. I got it. I oh, 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 oh. There's so much junk in here. It just makes a nice little handle. Oh my gosh, there's so much dirt here. It's a little dirty in there. We just whipped! <laughs> okay, so we got everything off the fenders, the bumper, um, the rock protector. Yeah, rock, rock deflector, I think. Whatever that is. Probably deflects rocks. Um, but now we're just going to move on to getting everything out of the engine bay, starting with getting the harness undone. Yeah, the wiring harness. You got it. Hey, I love you, but I need to be right here. Oh, sorry. See if you can get any gap separation there. Or just pull it right out. Nice work, lady. I'm gonna do it. I got it out. So those two connect to everything else. Correct. Wow. So there's a good chunk of your harness. Okay, so ideally we need to get this one off. But to do that, we need to get that this looks, one off. That looks bigger. So. I'll get you a big wrench. Bigger? One inch. Nice. Bigger! <laughs> Thank goodness you've got them. Oh, this is getting big now. It fits! First, first time. I forget to use one in 116. Oh, I never thought these wrenches would be necessary. Oh, you got a bolt? Yes, I need the um, five eight, five sixteens. Got it. <laughs> nice. I need to bring you a bucket so you can dump that out. Well, that might oh, be... it's crunchy! It's crunchy! Oh, there's... I think we might have found the reason why that isn't working. Ew. It's crunchy! Yeah, I think we're gonna have to blow that thing out. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> Just give it to me. That's cr crunchy. <laughs> Look at the crunchy parts. Ugh, spider babies. Okay, so we're getting off the sprayers for um, the windshield, and this screw will not come off. We've tried a normal screwdriver, 
which didn't work, obviously. And then Dad had these small ones, which didn't work also. So we're going to use this screwdriver, which is meant for screws that will not come off, and see if this works. And if it doesn't, I don't know what will. <laughs> Now try it. Nice work. Magic tool. So we only have a few things left. We need to take off the rusted battery box, which is terrible and falling apart. We're gonna take off the shock tower caps, and then it'll be time to remove the brake lines and master sim blender. Cap. Good. There we go. First time. First try. Are you shocked? That was a terrible pun. So the battery box isn't looking its best. So we're gonna take it out and replace it. But to do that, we need to take the two bolts out on this side. We brush these threads. They could have been nasty. I don't see a screw, but I mean, got part of it off. Yikes. It threw. I, yeah, I don't know how this is attached. Look on the underside, see if you see a bolt of any kind. I want to say no. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. Okay, so last thing, we're gonna take the master cylinder off and disconnect and take off the brake lines. But before we can do any of that, we're gonna section out as much brake fluid as we can so that it doesn't get all messy. Oh, that is full to the brim. Cool. Yeah, you can take it back with that, huh? It's empty. Oh. All right, so cap it. That's it. That's it. Get it? So I just got the brake lines disconnected. Um. And now I'm going to go inside the car and get the brake pedal uh -huh. disconnected from the push rod. You got it. <laughs> I think it needs to kind of go straight down. Did you get it? Yeah, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> It fell down. It's down. <laughs> okay, it's probably behind the carpet there. Probably. Nice. Okay. Now, see if you can get the tie rod unhooked from... Okay. Or not the tie rod, sorry. The uh, push rod. Just push it off to the left. Okay, so we had to cut there because it just wasn't happening. So we had... We had to work together to do that, and it's still not off, so we're going to try and disconnect the master cylinder. Be 
need a little bit of... Oh, there we go. Is it off? Oh, yeah, it just <laughs> came off by itself. All right, cool. You're set. Yeah, I think I should have loosened it beforehand. Well, we know next time we restore a falcon. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Brake line. Okay, so we were only able to get this brake line out. Um, the other two weren't really responding well to our normal wrenches, so we're going to get special brake line wrenches so that we don't destroy the brake lines. Um, but even though we didn't get the other two out, we still did a lot of work, and we're going to be getting the other two out next episode. So I'm proud of the stuff that we accomplished today. I was really tired at the end of that day. But what I'm taking out of the garage is that the best kind of tired is after a long, hard day of the work you love. Special thanks to my executive producers, the Bowling Family. And if you want to support me, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Ellie's Garage. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you next time in the garage. Oh, cool. Ellie, look. Look at the stuff. The numbers? That... I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is. That's from the factory. Wait, really? From the factory? Yeah. That's awesome! I don't know what that means. Me neither!